Oh my god. Harvey is just a teen? I've been trying to seduce a teen. Hi everybody, it's now episode 7 of the Sim series, and you'll notice that I've kind of splurged a little bit. The Sims right now is having a sale until June 20th where they're having huge discounts on their expansion packs, their game packs, and their stuff packs. So I ended up getting quite a few. So I'm really excited to start seeing what these new packs offer. There should be tons of new clothes, new gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just dive in. Welcome back to the Soulless Home. We've got Kelly here, the matriarch, and our five children. We now have three of those that are actual kids, two of them that are toddlers, and Kelly is not pregnant, so that will definitely have to be a priority on today's episode. And one of the nice things about having all of these new expansion packs now is that hopefully that means we have tons of new people to meet, tons of new things to do, new interactions, new gameplay, and speaking of which, do we have a couple new people and new activities to do over here? I think so. Um, who is this? This guy is named Drake. Tall, dark, and handsome type. Who is this, though? This here we have, what does this say? Harvey? Harvey Fenton. Can we meet both of them, maybe? Let's meet Harvey. What a beautiful setting with the snow in the background for a first date, don't you think, Harvey? He's focused, but can we get the focus on Kelly instead? Ask about his day. Let's do the slow burn. Kelly knows by now. She's not the most charming person in the world. She's going to kind of work up to it. Um, the kids, though, they need to go off to school. So it looks like they are in school about this. Oh, wake him up so he can also go to school. And that means... There's just the two toddlers at home right now. Uh, whoever this guy is, though, what's his name? Harvey? He's trying to leave, but no, we need to um, ask him to hang out. Why not? Okay. Things are going okay. Oh my god, I thought that was blood on his pants at first. That's an interesting outfit. He loves the outdoors. Oh my, look who just ran by. Who is this handsome stud? Can we meet him and just say hello? The more single, hot, eligible men that Kelly can meet, the better, because then we'll have them queued up for the next birth. Oh, somehow we got a third wheel in this flirtation department. Um, whoever this is, she just needs to leave. Uh, how do we ask her to leave? Can we not ask her to leave? No. No, all I want is Harvey. Okay, he can hang out for a bit. Okay, I think we finally got rid of the third wheel. Let's see if we can take up the relationship up a notch. And oh my gosh, we owe $420. Oh crap, Kelly's gonna have to earn some money too. Oh my god. Harvey is just a teen? I've been trying to seduce a teen. No wonder I don't have any flirtatious options. Oh my gosh, but who are you? Who are you? Are you a teen? No, you are not a teen. You are a young adult. Let's flir uh, let's friendly introduction him and send Harvey on his way. And uh, that explains why he has a book. Oh my God, that is so counterproductive. Let's see if we can make up time. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be like freezing to death. Dean is very hungry. This is not going very well. Okay. The new guy, whatever his name was, is gonna go. Harvey, the teen, is going to go, because I didn't realize he was a teen. Oh, man, and then I guess Kelly's gonna worry about the kids. So I think one of them was hungry. Oh, they're both, okay, they're good, they're surviving. So that one's asleep. This one, um, Kelly should bathe, I think, and this is, she could, she should bathe Dean here and ignore Romeo. Tormund has returned home with a school project. He's now a B student. Ron has returned with the school project as well, and he's now an A student, our first A child. And that means we can level up Ron into our first teenager as well, which will be super nice because then he can get a job, he can start contributing to the family, he can even start teaching the toddlers some skills. So that will be really helpful. Um, John is not doing so hot, but that's okay. Um, Kelly, looks like uh, you should probably sleep. But then once she awakens, we'll go ahead and make a cake for Ron 
and level him up to a teenager. All right, Kelly's gonna make that cake now and then we can level up Ron. So let's have her make, um, let's do a winter cake because it's winter. All right, cake is made. Kelly's gonna add the birthday candles and then it's just a matter of Ron blowing out the candles. So let's wake him up. Here we go. Yay, teenage dumb, Ron aged up. Okay, Google, pick a random number between one and 36. The answer is two, so Ron is gonna be a genius. Okay, okay, Google, pick a random number between one and 11. Three. Three, so he's a deviant? Okay. Okay, Google, pick a random number between one and two. Here's a random number, two. Two. So John is a chief of mischief. He wants to be all about pranks and mayhem. What a weird grouping of traits here. So he's a genius that is hot-headed, he's dastardly, and he's a chief of mischief. That's our Ron. And oh boy, this is our Ron. Wow, what um, an interesting looking person is all I can say about that. Um, all right, regardless, John or Ron or whoever the heck he is, he can now help out. So let's have him give a bath to Sam. I think that's who that is right there, isn't it? And then while we have a little bit of downtime, I think we're gonna go ahead and sell the gnomes because we do have to pay the bills, which I think are what, $420 or something like that? So as much as I hate to do it because they're kind of a part of the family, we're gonna sell these buddies here because um, it's much more important that we pay. And I think we've got one more right here. Yes, we do. Wahoo! Kelly now has 804 simoleons. She feels freaking rich almost. So she can pay the bills, which is good just to have that done. All right, the kids are finally leaving. They're going off to school. Ooh, he's doing homework, but he can also get a job, which we'll have him do and start contributing to the family, which will be really nice. And then let's see if we can bring up our money even further, because I would ideally like to get to about $500 or whatever the cost is for a tablet, because once you get a tablet, that will really help speed up the training, I believe, for the toddlers with most of the skills. And it's gonna be Winterfest tomorrow. That should be cool. And John's gonna get that job, so. Um, one thing I want to look at is to make sure that he gets as much money as possible. So this will be 7 to 12. That's a 5 hour. I think he's going to go for manual labor. This looks like it's the highest paying rate and it's 10 hours a week. So let's start with that and that should hopefully give him enough time to still worry about his studies and stuff like that. Alright, kids are back from school. Tormund has a B. John looks like does not, but that's okay. We'll get him up there eventually. In fact, John does, oh gosh, he is so tired. So he needs to sleep first thing. This kid um, can go play games or something like that. And then Ron, I'm not sure what he's doing actually. Um, he should go shower while he has a chance. All right, Kelly, you are in desperate need of some fun. So I think now is your chance to invite over a boy. Who should we invite over? Let's ask someone to hang out here. We'll ask Marcus Flex, it looks like. Very nice. I'm so glad we introduced ourselves to him because he is actually an adult, which is important. And he'll be right over. So Kelly, go ahead and change into something a little bit more attractive. That's cute. And Ron is helping out with some chores. He has some very questionable outfit choices. Oh, and there is Marcus. Why, hello, Marcus. Tall, dark, and handsome. Let's see if we can hit it off with Marcus. Well, Marcus is kind of bored, so we need to ramp up the heat. Okay, Marcus is unemployed. Ron, you need to get out of here. I don't think it works out as well when people are present during the flirtation. Um, so go ahead and make yourself busy somewhere else. Okay, this is a weird way of doing it. Ooh, he liked the rose. Let's keep it up, Kel. Armani, we don't have time for you. Oh my gosh, can I have any more kids in here as I try to flirt it up? At least he's in a flirty mood. Things are going well for once. Oh, 
Good. It is about time for Kelly to hit it off with some gentlemen. I feel like it's been not going so well. We're gonna do a first kiss, hopefully, amidst all of our children. Oh, and he's embarrassed. That's okay. And then I want to see if I can get them to woohoo. But what I think I'm going to do, because I feel really awkward about doing it in front of Dean, is let's wake him up and let's see if we can move the bed somewhere else, like right there. Um, so wake up, Dean. Um, we'll have you like go potty or something like that. And then we'll move the bed. So this will move. Whoop. Gosh, why can't I move it? I can like only, what the heck? I can't rotate it. Oh my God. Okay, um, the bed is gonna go right there. All right, baby can go back to sleep. Now I have the room all to Kelly's self to seal the deal with, what's his name? Time to embrace. Look at his broad shoulders. No child, go away, go away. Watch some TV or something, I don't care. Just leave the room. Okay, and now we're alone again, Marcus. Ooh, should we just go for it? Try for baby? <laughs> He's into it! Kelly's gonna become a mom again. We can technically fit two more children into the family, but uh, the quicker we can get Ron aged up into an adult, the quicker we can get him moved out and make room for even more children. So uh, let's give them a little privacy. Um, I'm not sure what he is leveling up there. Poor Dean though, the very sad child. He's tired. Can he not fit? Deed is done. Look at those pink underwear. All right, Kelly, um, before he leaves, take a pregnancy test. Kelly's eating for two. What, what? Yes. Okay, good. Already looking pregnant. All right, Marcus, <laughs> let's do one last kiss, but it is time for you to go. You've served your one and only purpose, you strong, handsome, beautiful man. It's time for Kelly just to move on now. Find a new suitor. Take care of her children, make some money. Do other things, do other people. Wow. What a way to say goodbye. All right, time to leave. Sorry, Marcus. Hopefully we don't scar you forever. Um, we can move the bed. How come I, I can't rotate it, which is annoying. Um, guess we'll keep it there now that we can have him back there. So he'll go to sleep because he is, <gasps> do not do that. Oh my God, I can't stop it. Oh my God, Kelly, and you are just gonna allow that, huh? Okay, I see how it is. Let's clean that, let's start making dinners for everybody and start getting back to the real work of taking care of the family. Winterfest has started, Kelly and the family's first Winterfest. This is awesome. Kelly is freaking cold though. Um, Kelly should like sleep and warm up or something. Um, and then Ron for some reason just has like a permanent bar above his head. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's bugged or something like that. Um, he can shower. Um, I think everyone is good on homework. Everyone is doing pretty well. So it's just, I think, a matter of at leveling up everybody's grades. We should start prioritizing the toddlers though because they're getting pretty close. Uh, this is Sam here. He just needs potty and thinking. And where is he? Um, I'm not sure what he's doing. Kelly, go ahead and teach Sam some potty skills. And we'll just ultimately try and get them leveled up here. Kelly has reached parenting level 10. She's maxed it out, so she is the best parent. But hopefully that means her duties can get performed a little bit faster or more efficiently it looks like, which is awesome. Dean, woot woot, he's potty level three. About time, so I think Dean has only a few more skills he needs. In fact, yep, just imagination and thinking, and those should be the easier ones, I think. So go ahead and do some shapes, my boy. Um, Ron definitely needs to shower. Dean has reached thinking level in three. Now he just needs imagination. And I think he should have a toy on him, right? 
Um, oh, wrong child. Let's sell this stuff though. <gasps> Father Christmas has just arrived. How cute. He's sitting down and talking to the kids. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Father Winter. Let's ask for a present, maybe? Hopefully he's been a good boy and can get something. Oh, he was a good boy. Father Winter got Ron a gift. That is awesome. That's friendly introduction, Kelly. And Father Winter? Could he be our next suitor? I actually don't know. Pleasant conversation going well. Kelly got a present, that's good. Can she flirt with him a little bit here? He's a little tense. Ooh, going well with Father Christmas. Looks like he's leaving. We'll see him next year maybe. And Kelly, you should pee. Winterfest is over, it was pretty good. We couldn't get everything done, but we did meet Father Winter, who just very well may become one of our baby daddies. Sam has reached potty level three. That's so good. We may be able to get the kids aged up here pretty soon, actually. Um, Sam just needs imagination. And I want to say that's all that um, the other kid needs too, Dean. So let's work on that. No, actually, Dean needs thinking. So um, maybe Ron can help Dean with thinking, and Kelly can read um, a bedtime story. All right, kids, time for school. Everybody leave. We need everybody out of the house, including you. He's already there. Goodbye, Ron. I think you're off to school too. And then it's just the two toddlers and the broken stuff we have going on. Whoa, I didn't even realize it, but Sam is a level three in everything. He's in fact a level four in communication. So Sam, we've met the requirements. We'll be able to age him up. How about Dean? He's just lacking imagination. Can he play with something and get that up? I think so. Sam now though can do whatever he wants. And then I think Kelly um, can sell this she was working on. And then she deserves some sleep. Yes, finally. Dean has become level three as well in the last thing, so he is super dirty. But what that means is after Kelly gets done making the vegetable tempura, she's gonna work on making a cake, and then we're gonna level up our last toddlers, and then that'll be good timing, because Kelly's gonna be giving birth soon. She's on trimester number two. Um, she'll be in the third trimester in a couple hours. All right, Kelly, time to make that cake. Can we make a gourmet cake? Um, ooh, this is a cool cake. Kelly's gonna make a black and white cake. Perfect for our black haired two children, our twins. All the other kids should probably go to sleep. All right, the cake is made. All that has to happen is the kids to blow out the candles. So we're gonna have both toddlers wake up here. Looks like Kelly's gonna help Sam first. Yes, no. <laughs> I'm okay. No! How was the piece taken? No. Damn it. Kelly will have to make another cake. Pick a number between one and four. Here's a random number, four. Okay, so Sam is social. Pick a random number between one and 27. And then he's also going to be a slob. Okay, so here's our boy Sam. Gosh, he looks just like Ron did when he was a kid. Good looking kid. Um, he is hungry. I am guessing he picked up, no. This boy, he was supposed to blow out the candles. Instead, he got a piece. Oh my gosh. What is Kelly gonna do with these children? Okay, she's gotta make yet another cake now, which totally sucks. That's an expensive cake she just made. Um, let's do a chocolate cake instead, since it's cheaper. And then we'll finally age up Dean to go with Sam. All right, Kelly's adding the candles. K 
candles have been added. Now help Dean uh, to blow out the candles. There we go. Woo, Dean aged up as well. Pick a random number between one and four. Here's a random number, three. Three, so Dean is gonna be a motor kid. Pick a random number between one and 27. 17. And Dean's gonna be a kleptomaniac. Okay. That works. Uh, he's gonna be a thief. Ooh, I like his hair. Kind of the shorter haircut. Very nice. So, um, we actually have to get rid of the toddler beds now. Um, let's move, oop, move. Cause we've gotta make room actually for some more kid beds. There we go. There's a third bed. In fact, I think we need to redo this because I'm running out of inventory in the kids' room. So, oh gosh. Ah, we'll put Kelly's bed actually where the kids are. So Kelly will lose some woohoo space, but hopefully the kids should be getting a little bit more room and becoming more comfortable now. All right, much better. And I actually like having the desk in the kids' room. That way they shouldn't hopefully come into mom's room when she's trying to seduce some gentlemen. Um, so this will work for now. Hopefully all the kids can actually get to the bed. So Kelly should go to sleep. Uh, actually, let's have her do the bathroom first. Bathroom first and then sleep. Ron is so exhausted though, so he needs to sleep. This kid needs to eat. This kid needs to eat. This kid needs to have some fun. This kid needs just about everything. All right, all the kids are off to school, except for um, Dean and Sam for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe it's because it's their first day as kids. I don't know. Um, but Kelly's sleeping, and I think we're going to make use of this alone time. Um, maybe we can find uh, some time to get some painting done and earn a little bit more money. We're down to 881 simoleons. We were up to just over a thousand before I bought the new bed. Um, so let's continue to increase the money. And then we don't have time for Marcus. And then we're gonna have to start preparing for the new kid that's gonna be arriving anytime now. Ooh, and it's gonna be New Year's Eve soon. That's exciting. And Armani says, congratulations on your recent birthday. How cute. <gasps> oh man, Kelly's gone into labor. And there's like three people in line to pee here. All right, Kelly's gonna pee, but then we're gonna send her to the hospital and give birth. We're gonna invite over our most recent flame, Marcus Flex, to join us at the hospital for the birth of his children. I cannot wait to get more children. Here we are at the hospital. Marcus Flex has joined us for the birth of his children. Well, actually, I don't know if it's gonna be children, plural. Um, ooh, and is that Armani? It is. Wow, he's still working here. At least he's not an elder quite yet. Um, and I don't see any eligible men here. That's just a girl over there. But what a cool city this is. I actually haven't really looked at it before. Okay, I guess Kelly, let's get down to business. It's time to give birth. Oh my gosh. We finally have a girl. Oh, this is so good. What are we gonna name our baby girl? For some reason, I was expecting we were gonna have a boy again. Girl names, girl names, let's see. Well, um, we've been doing Game of Thrones themes, and I think, yep, Marcus was definitely a dark-haired lad, so let's name her Arya, Arya Solis. <gasps> no way, we have twins again? Oh crap, this is gonna be a boy, baby boy. Um, we'll do Arya's sibling. Um, we'll do Bran. Arya and Bran. Oh my gosh, we now have an eight person household. One teen, four children, two babies, one matriarch. Oh my gosh. This is gonna get crazy. I actually don't even have the option to have Kelly get pregnant at this point because she cannot get pregnant when there are already too many kids in the house. So 
let's send her home so she can meet some eligible gentlemen, but we cannot get pregnant again until after Ron leaves the house. So we're going to have to worry about that as soon as possible. I know we've been worrying about his grades, but uh, it's definitely going to have to become the priority now. And why are you doing that, Kelly? Go home. All right, we made it back home. Oh my gosh, this little house is getting so cramped. We're going to move the babies into Kelly's room. There we go. I can't believe we had more twins. We're not even playing on a twin lot trait, I don't think. Oh my gosh. This game just got a lot harder. Well, I think with that, we're going to end it here. Uh, next episode, we're going to be really focusing on getting Ron moved out of the household and finding a new bachelor to make our new baby daddy. As always, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the chaos, and I'll see you guys next time.